week number four of growing out my natural nails let's get into it <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. It is week four of me trying to grow out my natural nails and this is what we have so far. This is week three's manicure that I just posted a short on so please do go check that out but it's time to redo my nails. So let's get started by first removing this old manicure so we can freshen up our nails. I'm just going to file the top layer of my nails off and then soak that in acetone. It took me a good 30 to 40 minutes to soften the builder gel and then I'm just going to gently scrape that off with my cuticle pusher. I know it can look really harsh when I'm scraping off the builder gel, but I found that builder gel doesn't really soften up the way normal gel does, but it was soft enough for me to to gently scrape off so please do be careful if you are also removing your builder gel had to go in for a second time to soak again just to get those little stubborn last bits off Once I was done soaking off the builder gel, I then went in with a nail file to just gently file the surface of my nail and make sure that all of that builder gel is really off and to give the tips of my nails a little bit more shape. Now let's work on our cuticles. This is becoming one of my favorite steps. Honestly, this Sally Henson cuticle remover has changed my life. If you have not tried this product or any cuticle remover, then please do try it out. I was skeptical at first. I thought it would hurt because it's literally dissolving your cuticles, but it is completely pain free and just makes the process of pushing back your cuticles so much easier and quicker. Literally 15 seconds and you are ready to push back your cuticles. I went in with a cuticle cutter to just snip off those little extra finer pieces of cuticle skin and prior to this as you guys know I did not like cutting my cuticles I just thought it was such an invasive process but now I am completely fine with it so anyways moving on I just quickly buffed my nails in preparation to apply my base coat In the last builder gel video I posted, I actually forgot to apply base gel and I reaped the consequences because just a few days later, my builder gel peeled off on a few of my nails. So it's very essential that you apply base gel because it helps the builder gel to adhere to your nails fully. So please don't skip that step like I did. So I cured that for 60 seconds and then I went in with my builder gel finally. Today I decided to use this white color because it was just calling to me. I think white just looks classy and timeless and especially this type of white. It's like a milky white so it looks even more natural. I applied a slip layer. So that's just a normal thin layer of the gel and then make sure you don't cure it because we are then going to actually build the bulk of the nail using a thicker layer and honestly i am pretty much new to all of this so i'm basically just copying what i've seen other nail creators do with builder gel which is going back and forth gently hovering the builder gel over the slip layer to be honest considering i'm a beginner i think it came out really well i just had to be really patient and try not to overload my brush with the builder gel I find it really helpful to use a mini led lamp to just flash cure your nails 
and by flash kill i basically mean for maybe 15 seconds not a full cure because we are going to go in to fully cure all our nails once we are done with the application going in with a really thin liner brush is also super helpful if you've seen in one of my previous videos i basically diy'd this little brush i cut off all the extra bristles and made it into like a singular stranded brush so if you don't have a really thin brush you can always just make one yourself and i also found in terms of getting a neat application it's really helpful if you keep the bulk of the builder gel at the center of your nail and then use the small liner brush to fill in the sides of your nail and that will help to avoid any excess overspill on the sides of your nails of course there'll always be kind of that excess overspill but then you can go in with your cuticle pusher to just clean up your edges and cure as soon as you can and as soon as you're happy with how everything is looking and basically repeat that for the rest of your nails Okay, so the builder gel application is now done i'm going to go in with a glossy top coat and i'm going to generously apply this on all my nails making sure i get all the creases nice and covered also paying particular attention to the tips of my nails because last time i applied builder gel i noticed that because i didn't seal the tips of my nails with top coats i was getting a little bit of dirt build up in between the gel and my natural nails so make sure to seal the tips of your nails with top coats Once my top coat is on, I'm curing that for 60 seconds and moving on to apply some cuticle oil. Another really essential step in your natural nail care routine. This is something I am trying to do daily, if not twice a day. Morning, afternoon, evening, whenever I can or remember, I try to apply cuticle oil and this will help strengthen and grow our nails. So once that's done here is the final end result i am really super happy like this is one of my favorite manicures i have done on myself so far and i'm really excited to keep growing and looking after the health of my nails i hope you guys are inspired to join me along in this natural nail care journey otherwise guys i will see you in my next updates don't forget to like comment share and subscribe bye <laughs>